Now, the sponsor of that bill, Democratic Congressman Brad Ashford, spent a lot of time with the president during his trip. He told me in a one on one interview at Baxter Arena that today was the high point of his long political career. Reporter Nick Starling is live with details tonight. Nick. From being live on air with us early this morning to having an after party at Clancy's Pub after the president's speech here at Baxter Arena, it was a very busy and exciting day for the man who represents us in Congress. President Obama visits Omaha, smack dab in the middle of Congressman Brad Ashford's district. Uh, it's just a thrill. I'm so proud of our city. Congressman Ashford flew on Air Force One with the president this morning. He says it was a surreal experience. It works like clockwork. It's very impressive. And the president is was very accessible. As they went inside the raucous Baxter Arena, Ashford says he warned the president how Omahans like to welcome the president. Uh, told us we were sitting in the back, said that uh, uh, we have a big crowd, Mr. President. We have a full house, and they're already cheering and raucous. And I said, I told you, this is the place to be. I mean, these people are, and my, uh, we're, we are enthusiastic caring people here. This was also an opportunity for Mr. Obama to meet in person the people the Kerry Roscoe Act would help, a bill Congressman Ashford has been backing. Well, it helps our efforts in the, in the Congress, certainly, to, to underline the importance of the legislation and, and to really send a message about first responders, law, our law enforcement, our firefighters, our emergency care, care workers, our EMTs, who are put their lives on the line every day. At the end of the day, Ashford says he's proud of how well Omaha represented itself. Great to be in Omaha and great to be a Nebraskan.